friend of mine, John, emailed me the other day and asked me, what model tube tester do I use? Well, I have about five or six tube testers. I have a early one that's in a Bakelite box, and you actually plug an umbilical cord into the radio and use the radio circuit to test the tube. And I have a Hickok tube tester somewhere. And I'm, I think I got a military one somewhere. But what I'm going to show are the tube testers that I use all the time. Mainly two. And one of them is the Syncore TC136 and a Precision. Here's the Syncore TC136 opened up and you can see the book on the left that contains all the settings for the tubes. And this tube tester does have a tube circuit on the inside. It has a nice big meter. And here's all the tube sockets. You can see that there's no early 4-pin tube socket on this tube tester. Okay, here's the Mighty Might 4. In the upper left-hand corner is the short indicator if there's some elements that may be shorted in the tube. And that item that's over to the upper right, that is the adjustment for calibration. Now after you have set up the uh, switches for a particular tube type, you rotate that function switch all the way to calibrate. Calibrate the meter and then you just rotate it back to the short test, then the grid leak test, and then the emissions test to test that tube. Here are the switches that need to be set up for the various tube types. And, of course, here's a closer look at the book where the information is held for the, the various tube types. After the tube number, let's take a look at the 12AX7. That 12 means 12 volts, or uh, switch A. The second column is switch B. Third column switch C, fourth column, switch D, then the last column, that is the number of the tube socket where you plug the tube under test. Okay, here's the Mighty Mite tube tester, more modern tube set. And this is a 50L6. And reading along here, A is set to 50. So we set that on 39 to 50. B is set to C. Switch C is set to 6. D is set to E. And we plug the tube into socket one. Okay, the next step is to turn this all the way over to calibration. And this sets, there's a mark up here that says cal. And we set that pointer once the tube tester warms up. Right on cal. You can see that the film is lit on the 50L6. Then we just turn the switch back to short test. There's no indication there, so there's no shorts. 
then the grid leak test that looks good and now for the emission of the tube and that looks very good this is the precision 954 G it's a very nice tube tester has a nice large meter and in the upper left hand corner that's where the earlier tube sockets are the four or five pins and without uh, center keys and in the upper right are the more modern tubes that do have uh, center keys here's uh, some switches and in the lower left that's the uh, short indicator and here's some more switches and above the Rolodex is the uh, a row of buttons that need to be pressed in certain orders of course all that information is stored in the Rolodex but however uh, this Rolodex didn't have the ot one a so I had to make a book for uh, a number of tubes I have a another tube tester uh, another precision that's an earlier model it works but it's not as nice looking you know, somebody painted it black and the uh, glass is broken on the meter but what I did was I compared the Rolodex from one to the other and any tube that was missing I wrote down in this book and so now I can uh, test a lot more tubes with this tube tester okay let's test a tube with this this is a national ot one a and that is not in the Rolodex here so looking at the book here it says switch A is 3 and B is 5 C is 45 and D is 6 E is 1, F is 1. Okay, and before I plug the tube in, I go in the reverse order, rechecking 1, 1, 6, 45, 5, and 3. Okay, now I plug the tube in, and if the filament's good, the short indicator will light. And let me get the camera over there so you can see that. There's the two big pins right there. I'm going to plug that into the tube tester and you can see that the filament is not open. You press B and see that the filament lit but now we need to adjust the line voltage to center okay and now we press B and it reads good it's on the weak side but it will function